What's up guys, it's Garrett with Lights Out TV. I'm gonna show you dove poppers today, my way. Well guys, we're here in the kitchen. We shot a bunch of dove over opening weekend. We got a pile of them. We're gonna be making some dove poppers. Um, so if you come in close, uh, this is the ingredients that we're gonna be doing uh, for the cook. Now it's kind of your normal cook specialty is that blend right there that makes or breaks everything. So we got all of our jalapenos, we got our dub breasted out, which we're gonna show you another video of hunting them, breasting them, doing the whole whole nine yards. Um, cream cheese, essential. We got our bacon, thick cut. You know, we're gonna cut it in half. Um, thick cut is it's pretty essential too because we are gonna be putting these on the pellet grill. And then toothpicks, gotta have them. So, first things first, we got these dub breasts on the bone. We need to, to get the meat off of the bone and we're gonna do it right here on the, on the cutting board. All right, y'all, so look, this is what the dub breasts look like all the way breasted out. They're on the breastplate. Um, you got a piece of meat on the right side and on the left side, and this is how I'm gonna take it off because we're gonna be smoking these poppers, um, and we don't wanna have that, that breast meat, or not the breast meat, I apologize, the, uh, the breast bone on there. We just wanna have meat. So you basically gonna do it just like that. Now let me talk to you how to do it. So you have your breast line which is that breastplate right down the middle you're going to take your Havilon go right down the side make sure you have a sharp knife for this it's going to help you out too and you're basically just going to fillet it off of the bone you're going to spin it to the left or to the right depending on what side and you're going to take it right off of that bone this is going to be a boneless skinless piece of dove meat so we got a bag of about, mm, I'd say about 40 of them. And we're about to do it for, for, for quite a bit of them. We're going to make quite a bit today, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, now that we got um, all of our dub meat breasted out of the, uh, of the breastbone, we have some boneless, skinless meat all that pretty meat. Um, we are gonna start assembling our popper uh, and, and I wanna take you through the steps of it. So uh, I know this is a, a kind of a traditional meal. So many people make poppers uh, from dove. It's gotta be what, the number one meal um, made from, uh, from dove on a dove shoot, especially since this is early September and this is like the holidays of hunting. Everything is, is started off we're kicking off hunting season. Um, we've gone out with a bang. We shot quite a few dove. And, uh, and yeah, it's been fantastic. We can't wait for deer season, duck season. Everything's going to be going on. So y'all stay tuned with us on that as well. So we're going to start out with the jalapeno. Cut the top off and you got the seeds. We're going to cut the jalapeno right down the middle, right in half. Just like so. And you got all your seeds. Best thing is... Take a spoon and just wipe them clean. Just like that, super easy, super simple. And you'll be doing that with a lot of jalapenos because uh, you're gonna be making a lot of poppers. And throw a few seeds in there. I kind of like it spicy, personally. So, we got that. And I'm gonna show you this one and I'm gonna make uh, a lot of them and then we're gonna throw them on the pellet grill. So, you got your cream cheese, open it up. You, camera assistant. We're going to open it up real fast. All right, y'all. So we got our knob of cream cheese. We're gonna take a little bit of cream cheese. Not a crazy amount. I'm not really trying to stuff them like crazy because we're gonna have a lot of bacon, a lot of seasoning in it, and we want the dub to sit inside the actual jalapeno as well. So, kind of put your half jalapeno like that. Go ahead and take a dove breast and just lay it on in. Now, this is where a lot of people, I think, mess up with poppers is they just wrap it in bacon and then if they're gonna season it in bacon, 
there's nothing inside. I know you have the cream cheese and the jalapeno, but we're gonna take this seasoning. It's called True Texas Barbecue. They make it at H-E-B uh, here in Texas. And for any of you who don't know, H-E-B is like the mecca of all things supermarket. Just anything. I go there when I'm bored just to have fun. It's like Florida's Publix or a Walmart anywhere else. So you're going to take this seasoning. And the reason I do like this seasoning, um, the sweet, it's sweet Texas heat. So this really does pack a little bit of a punch, but it's sweet and it just goes super well with pork. And since we're going to be wrapping it in bacon, smoking it, it's going to caramelize on there with the sugars. It's just going to be great. So take it and you just don't want to overdo it. You can kind of overpower it because we are going to season the bacon as well. But you just want a little bit on top. So you want that dove breast to get, you know, seasoned as well. You don't want it sitting in there with no seasoning. It is wild game. You've got to do stuff with it. So you're taking that dove popper. And we have our bacon. Like I said earlier, you're really going to want thick cut bacon to do this. Um, so uh, just thick cut bacon is just the best. You can't really do anything with thin cut bacon. I should make them like breakfast tacos. So we're taking a slice of bacon and it only takes half. We're gonna cut it all in half. Use our knife, cut that in half. And we're gonna take this. And it's perfect. You know, wrap it up just like a little baby. Place it there, grab your toothpicks, get them open. And when you're putting the toothpick in, you kind of want it to hit both sides of the bacon. Just slap it right in the middle. And that can sit in between the grates on your pillow grill. And after that, we're gonna take this and we're gonna season the bacon. Not too much, like I said, this stuff is pretty overpowering. Um, a little goes a long way. So you just wanna take it a little bit at a time, get it seasoned up, don't be too liberal. That's going to smoke up and be awesome. And we're just going to make a lot of those, and then we we're going to put them on the pit boss outside. We've got some new pellets we're going to try today, too. Um, some kind of sweet pellets that are going to go well with it. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned. We're getting right to it. All right, guys, got them all made up. Meet me outside at the pellet grill. We're gonna fire it up. We're gonna smoke these bad boys off. Let's go. All right, guys, out at the pit boss. Got the pit boss set on 300 degrees. In my experience, I think that's kind of like the perfect temperature. Um, it allows the bacon to set. Also allows everything inside to get cooked kind of right. Um, I think it's pretty much on point. So we're just gonna place them in here. We're gonna keep it on 300 degrees and let it roll for about 20, 25 minutes, come back out here and check, see how the bacon's looking, and we'll see you then. Well guys, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's check these poppers out. Guys, it's been about an hour. Let's check them out. Oh yeah, bacon is set, nice and tacky. Let's get them off. Guys, got them all into the house. They are looking awesome. This is exactly what you want that dark mahogany color. That bacon has set, it's tacky, ready to eat. I'm gonna let it rest for a sec, I'll give you a taste hey test. Hey guys, we're back in from outside. Check out this popper. It just looks beautiful, let me get that to focus. That bacon has set so nice, it's so caramelized. It, uh, 
it really is one of the prettiest poppers I think I've ever made. This is why that low and slow on the pellet smoker is so essential. It cooks everything so evenly. You get a, a nice heat dispersion inside and out. That dub gets nice and tender. I'm just uh, kind of salivating. So I'm gonna go in for the bite, let you know how it tastes. Mm. Mm, look at that. You got the dub inside. Nice bacon on the outside. Mmm. I gotta say, <laughs> that could be some of the best ones I've ever made. Man. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out with me, uh, doing these dub poppers. I'm telling you, it is it is a tradition at the family household. We gotta do it. Uh, every year we shoot the dub. We gotta do the dub poppers. It's just always a, always a tradition. So, hey, listen, we've got more videos coming. A lot of catch, clean, and cooks. A lot more hunting videos. We're going to do some fishing videos as well. Y'all stay tuned because, hey, we're new to YouTube. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We got it all. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Help us out. This is our favorite thing to do. Me and Corey, all we do is hunt fish, and we cook it, and we clean it, and we serve it, and we have people around. We just love doing it. It's our favorite thing. So, hey, until next time, y'all take it easy. Lights Out TV, give us a subscribe. We out.